Hello, hello. Um, beautiful day out there today. Beautiful weekend. Um, so we enjoyed getting the dogs well and truly exercised as well as ourselves, which is definitely good for the soul at a time like this. And um, lots of people will probably have noticed over the weekend an increase in the number of cyclists that are getting out and about. Plenty of ladies and gentlemen donning their lycra and taking advantage of a few rays of sunshine. Um, so I don't really do cycling, but I do love a bit of lycra when I go for a run. Um, and I find the whole cycling thing fascinating um <laughs> love a bit of road cyclist watching and there are plenty of them around here um thing is with cycling um is it comes with lots of gear and it comes with some quite terrifying gear uh, for any of you who um, are or are married to somebody that likes to go road cycling you'll be very familiar with the padded shorts which disgustingly I have found in our room inside out. I mean, not dirty, but there's just something about a pair of inside out cycling shorts that makes me want to do a little bit sick in my mouth. Um, the thing is, though, that's not the most terrifying thing. The most terrifying thing is this. Now, this is what's called uh, it's Asos Chamois Cream, um, also known as Bum cream stops the chafing. Oh God, I am not opening that pot. Uh, so I thought I would share a poem with you today that is about road cyclists and how much I enjoy watching them. Road cyclists tell me, how does it feel balancing your body above the wheel on a seat that is the size of a sanitary towel? Doesn't it make your gonads howl? You speed along in lycra tight, which I quite like, unless it's white, because white turns see-through when you sweat. I can see your bum crack, sir. We've hardly met. The beautiful sight of your powerful thighs is very pleasing to my eyes, but then you dismount and your cycling shoes make you stand like Mr Tumnus on his little hooves. In neon colours that few would brave, you would fit right in at a 90s rave. You've got the high vis, you've got energy gel, you've got the speed, you have no bell. Now I can see why you wouldn't want such a thing on a frame that cost more than my eternity ring. For as Wiggins has taught us, the very first rule of cycling is you've got to be cool. So stay safe, stay sane and well just you know if you can safely um socially distantly do get some fresh air and exercise while the weather is fine catch you soon <laughs>